Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer for May 9th, Tuesday in the fifth week of Easter. So I just wanted to thank you all for joining me in prayer. Uh, we need to be doing this. Hopefully more people is going to join us in the future. Um, in the end, the Immaculate Heart of Mary is going to triumph. But probably if we, if we have more people on their knees praying, the Holy Rosary, the Liturgy of the Hours, um, all our Catholic devotions, going to Mass, to Confession, living good lives, you know, living saintly lives. Maybe we can bring, it, bring that day sooner. We pray every day for His kingdom to come. So maybe He's going to hear us sooner. He wants us to pray. He wants us to recognize that we need Him. Because that's the truth. If we don't recognize that, then we're lost. We're going to lose our souls if we don't know, if we're, if we're not aware that that our lives should revolve around Jesus, revolve around God. So that's what He wants us to pray, for us to recognize, glorify Him. We are only creatures, and we are nothing without Him. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sing with all the sons of glory. Sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow, earth's dark story, to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking. Soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness, man awaking, knows the everlasting peace. O oh, what glory far exceeding, all that I has yet perceived, holiest hearts for ages, for ages pleading, never that full of joy conceived. God has promised, Christ prepares it, there on high our welcome waits, every humble spirit shares it, Christ has passed the eternal gates. Life eternal, heaven rejoices, Jesus lives who once was dead, Join, O man, the deadless voices, child of God, lift up thy head. Patriarchs from the distant ages, saints are longing for their heaven. Prophets, psalmists, seers, and sages, all await the glory given. Life eternal, O oh, what wonders! Crowd on faith, what joy unknown! When amidst earth's closing thunders, saints shall stand before the throne, or oh, to enter that bright portal. See that glowing firmament. Know with thee, O God immortal, Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. The one who came down from heaven has ascended above all the heavens. Alleluia. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas. On the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountains of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. So shall the men who seek him seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. King of glory, Lord of power and might, cleanse our hearts from all sin, preserve the innocence of our hands, and keep our minds from vanity, so that we may deserve your blessing in your holy place. The one who came down from heaven has ascended above all the heavens. Alleluia. 
keep this day as a festival day and give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. Blessed be, the, blessed be God who lives forever, because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For his courteous and then has mercy. He cuts he casts down he casts down to the depths of the nether world, and he brings up from the greater abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles, for though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles, among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of all ages. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners. Do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all men speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Keep this day as a festival day and give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord fills the earth. Alleluia. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten string lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill, for the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the bread of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke, and, and it came to be. He commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He frustrates the designs of the nations. He defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy, whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers of the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him and do, on those who hope in his love to rescue their souls from death to keep him alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Nourish your people, Lord, for we, for we hunger for your word. Rescue us from the dead of sin and fill us with your mercy, that we may share your presence and the joys of all the saints. The mercy of the Lord fills the earth. Alleluia. God raised Jesus from the dead, and for many days thereafter, Jesus appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are his witnesses now before the people. We ourselves announce to you the good news that what God promised our fathers he has fulfilled for us. 
their children in raising up Jesus, according to what is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Peace I live with you. Alleluia. Peace is my gift to you. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Peace I live with you. Alleluia. Peace is my gift to you. Alleluia. By his own power, Christ raised up the temple of his body when it had been destroyed in death. With joy, let us ask him, Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. Christ our Savior, when you rose again, you brought to the holy woman and the apostles the joyful news of a world redeemed. Make us witnesses to your risen life. Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. You promised to all people that we would rise up again to newness of life. Make us heralds of your gospel. Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. You showed yourself to your apostles and breathed the Holy Spirit on them. Renew in us the presence of the same Creator Spirit. Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. You promised to be with your disciples to the end of the world. Stay with us today and remain with us always. Lord, share with us the fruits of your victory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope, that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you all for praying with me today. I hope you have a great day. If you haven't, you are invited to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share them. That way you could help us a lot. Thank you. May the Lord bless you all. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.